mind are some huge and ancient facts, looming with strange distortion through the mists of time. Southward of Cornwall and Ireland, westward of the Pillars of Hercules, the warm Atlantic rolls shallowly above the sunken face of what was once a mighty island. Two thousand miles long, a thousand miles in width. Here, as many sane and cool and scientific men believe, is Atlantis, the lost continent. Its ancient splendors buried in the sea slime or frozen volcanic lava. Its peaks above the surface, stepping stones to all our history. The lost Atlantis, a lost civilization. The lost magnificence. On nights of moon and calm, where druid cairns crouch darkly on the shores that Patrick conquered, men look from cliffs above the sea, breathless and sighing. Where glimmering towers rise far upward on the waves, and there is born from them a strange and solemn music. Upon the sea this night, the Arnana Og, the Isle of Lost Content. And in Cornwall, looking from other cliffs, as the sea booms softly in the coves below, Avalon, the blessed Isle, where time is still and the years lie still. Outward beyond the pillars of Hercules, one day, centuries ago, steered a ship of Portugal. Outward to the Canaries and the harbor lying in the shadow of Tenerife, at the westward limits of the world men knew. There it moored, and with bannered heralds going before him, and a train of lords and ladies following behind, the young Don Fernando de Alma stepped ashore to greet the governor. My Lord Governor, I bring you greetings from the court of Lisbon. My humble duty to His Majesty and to you, Don Fernando de Alma, and welcome to our shores. I do not rest here long, my Lord. I crave only to leave here under your protection these ladies of our company and this lady, my betrothed, Donna Serafina of Lisbon. My Lord Governor. My duty, gracious lady, and most welcome. But you, the Senor, where do you journey? My voyage lies to the westward. The westward? Yes. My Lord Governor. I beg you to dissuade him. I have tried, but he will not be turned from it. Few men have returned from westward voyaging, Don Fernando. <laughs> I shall return. Hmm. Well, what do you seek to the west? I seek the island called the Inaccessible. Oh. But men have said vanishes in storms as they draw near. So it is told, Senor, by those who have returned. What do these men say? They say that it lifts upon the horizon fairer than any land we know, with mm. smiling shores and tall white towers glimmering in golden mist. Ah, but they say also that as they draw near, clouds form and storms gather about them, that they are blown far off their course, and that when the storm wear away, they are alone on empty sea. It shall not be so with me. I beg you, heed your lady. Rest here while you will, but sail not westward. I will rest here a night, my Lord Governor, but in the morning I shall sail. Oh. It shall be as you wish. Ah, the night promises a fair day. Yes. Stars on the sea, beloved, low and clear. And hark, the sea's voice murmuring from the west. Remember, turn back with me to Lisbon. Life will be good. Life? 
Since first the wandering man told me of the island of Atlantis, it has been the whole of life for me. I will find it. I will lay the greatest deed of men at your feet. I do not want great deeds. I want only you. And I am not content to give only what all men give. Houses and little possessions. And the poor love of one who dare not dare for that he dreams of. Would you have me such a man, Seraphine? I would have you what you are. Then so you have. And that forever. But never from tomorrow shall I feel your arms up. You shall. And they, the arms of one all men shall honor. Fernando. Wait here a month, Tony. If I am then not returned, go to Lisbon. You shall hear the booming of guns in the Tagush greeting me back to you. I shall hear nothing. I shall wear away my eyes looking on the empty sea. I shall go all alone until the cold sorrow fills my heart and I'm dead. <laughs> my darling. In a month. <laughs> Westward in the morning. Westward for many days with prosperous winds and weather. But the sea before them lay always empty. And the terrors of its unknown reaches grew equally upon the laughing gallants and the sober muttering sea. There's no thing lives upon the sea. They say truly, I fear, that wives of westward growing men be widows all. Uh, this accursed voyage. Scurvy and pox. Or oh, worse things. We reach too far to the west. There is a line upon the seas of the world beyond which ships that venture are seized utterly and consumed in blazing heat. Our master's mad. The Lord's urge him to turn back. Uh, if they do not, some of us take our lives. We will sail no further. It is the master's order. We have ventured too far. So we told him many days ago. We will not go. It is death. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. We who are nobles among the company. Focus. Is it your wish to turn back? Aye. 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 What say you, Lord? I say it is but prudence. The Almas hails us to our den. And we draw your swords. Come to you. There he stands. Let the Lord speak first. Ready your eyes. I'm Fernando also. You come with swords drawn and mutineers behind. We will sail no more westward. You lie. Hear me. Here I stand where my course is west. He that will change it must first strike my sword from my hand and thrust his sword into my heart. Well, who comes first? Now that you, mad man.
across blue water lay the glimmering shores, silent and green and still. A golden haze lay over them, and piercing above the haze, white towers and battlements trembled against blue sky. The storm-wracked ship lay now breathless and calm. The sails drooped empty of wind. And all on board gazed shoreward, silent, and suddenly wrapped with a new fear. No sound, no stir. the boat move into shore. They saw the golden mist steal down about their captain. <laughs> so they told those men long after in the eastward ports. <laughs> this was Fernando's day. Put by your sword. Your pardon, lady. The mist rolled suddenly back. I fear. Fear I... no more, good sir. You are weary and worn from sea that is sweet and clear. Yeah. And shade and bird song. Come and rest. Rest. <laughs> I am called Morgana. Morgana? And this land? It is known by many names. Who dwells here? They who will. Yet do I see no man, nor hear the sound of men. No man is here. No man? None. Who dwells where those white towers pierce the sky? You will see them. Come with me. And these, and these. The glory of them. I did not know that all earth held such beauty. And yet, they are empty, all. Empty and lone, lovely and silent. Here, let me show you the nicest of them all. <laughs> the portals are open. Loveliest of them all. And there's a throne at the far end. Look, that diadem. Who wears it? I. Behold. Fair queen. I did not know. I... Rise, my lord. This is a weary crown, a strange diadem. I know a much lovelier crown than this. It's made of apple blossom. There is a way down to the sea through the blossomy orchard. Come. Follow. Long have I sought such peace. Long? How lovely is this land. Aye. 
beach and saw from the sea its greenness and the white castle rising on the hill, but these soft meadows, the flowery woods and streams were hidden. Has no man come here before me? Yes, men have come. Yet none has told these wonders, only a dim whisper of them eastward. Where went they, they who came? Where their will took them. My ship! Where's my ship? It flies! My men have turned and fled from me. So be it, so thou will take them. But how shall I return? To what? To the eastward, to my land, to Serafina, my betrothed, to all that I have left. Take my hand. So, look out for it. What do you see? I see white canvas billowing eastward. I see the tall mast bend, bearing away. To what? To all that I came from. And that. And that... Tell me of that you came from. I, I... I can't. It goes from me. It is... It is but a, a dream. Made and distant. Gone and lost. All lost. And you? There is no more but this. Nothing I would remember. Nothing change. Here will I stay forever. All then is yours, with me. Here will you rest with the few before and the memories of the few behind. Strange. There's no change of light here. No westward sloping of the sun. No night, no death. No age. The only eye, the trembling frame. Here, while you will, all you There was no sound. I heard the crying of the girl. Only the bright thing that his eyes were here. No bird of earth or sea. But there came again the faint crying on the wind above them. The storm-tossed gull, its fretful wailing, bearing from the east the restless hopes and sorrowing fate of men, trooped in with broken wind and fell beside them. Fernando looked to the queen. All memories of earth returning to his eyes. And from her eyes, he saw a slow tear fall. I must go. The ship is slow. I must go. Even though I chanced the seas in the small boat that brought me. It shall be as you wish. You shall come safely where you will. Farewell. Isabel, lying in a tagush. The tagush? We are coming to Lisbon. Aye. But how did I come here to this ship? As I left the isle, a slip came on me. The isle, still raving of an isle. I bade farewell to the queen and set forth from the isle. You spied by our lookout far at sea, a wasted skeleton drifting in the wreckage of a ship. Oh, I have no memory of a storm. The storm there must have been. A wreck there surely was. Oh, that's strange. I can't remember. Well, what are you going to do, sir? Will you go ashore? Yes. Yes, I must. I must go to Serafina. Serafina? A lady? <laughs> you. Well, well. She's the last thing to even forget. Happy meeting. I know it is here on this little side street. I know. Ah, there it is. She cried, oh, she wanted to. Who is that singing? Where is she? My eyes. Ah. It must be Serafina. It is. It is she. Serafina! Serafina! 
Don't go in. Please, don't go, Serafina. It is I. Come back. Why does she pretend she doesn't remember me? Why did she run away? I must find out. What would you? I will see your mistress. Who are you? But do you not know me? I am Fernando de Alma. I know of no such. Quickly, lead me to your mistress. I know she's in here. She was up on the balcony a moment ago singing. When I called her, she ran into the house. You'd better leave, my good man, before I'll be forced to throw you out. Who is this man, Ramon? Oh. What does he want? Serafina, it is I, Fernando. You remember me, you must. Ramon, please show him the way out. He must be mad. You'd better take your leave. And who are you, young man? What are you doing here? I am Ramon de Alvarez, affianced suitor of this lady. No. No, it can't be so. Say he lies, Serafina. Why do you call me by that name? Are you not, Serafina? Look, there on the wall, there hangs the portrait I gave you. Your portrait. My portrait? But... Oh, merciful heaven. This lady's name is Maria, my friend. Not Serafina. I know, Ramon. Listen, he speaks of the portrait of Serafina, my great-great-grandmother, who dead these hundreds of years. Well, she died a tenorist, so the story goes. They say her dim eyes were always turned out to the west, waiting for one who sought an island there. Legend, so they say, another island muttered out by strange old men, heavy with years and dying. Islands of the West, islands of the deep, islands of dreams. They lie beyond all landfalls we have made, these islands. 